Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be participating in an open collaboration that is hosted by Cooking with Anadi. And that collaboration is hashtag Live to Cook 2022. Now his collaboration is different themes for the whole month of January, each week having a different theme. So this week that I'm going to be participating in is hashtag bucket list. And what's my bucket list? Well, today I'm going to be making alligator gumbo. A few years ago, I was in Texas and I went into a restaurant and I ordered deep fried alligator and it was really, really, really good. So then I decided I wanted to make alligator. Well, it took me a while to find alligator meat. And last year, going through Arkansas, we stopped at Walmart and I found some frozen alligator fillets. So my contribution for bucket list is alligator gumbo. What all goes into alligator gumbo? One pound alligator meat cut in thin strips, one inch long and one fourth inch thick. This was frozen, I had to thaw it out. That's what the back of it looks like so you can see the alligator meat. One half pound butter. This is a pound so I'll be using half of that. Fourth cup green onions chopped, one eighth cup parsley chopped, one and a half cloves garlic minced, and I'll just be using the already minced garlic, two stalks of celery chopped, one fourth cup red bell pepper seeded and chopped, one fourth cup green pepper seeded and chopped, one large can of stewed tomatoes. I didn't find a large can, so I'm going to be using two regular sized canned tomatoes that are 14 and a half ounces. And I believe a large can is 28 ounces. And one pound of okra, stemmed and cooked separately until tender. They don't have fresh okra in my store, so I got the frozen. I'll go ahead and cook it separately, but I'll add it at the very end since it is a frozen instead of fresh. One half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one half teaspoon black pepper, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. So let's begin. Take a big pot, put in your half a pound of butter, and over medium heat, we'll let that melt down just a little bit, and then we'll saute our vegetables. So the, the southerners really like their butter. That's an awful lot of butter. So put in your fourth a cup of green onions, your one and a half cloves of garlic, your fourth of a cup of red and a fourth of a cup of green bell peppers, and your two stalks of celery, and saute those until soft. All right, so the vegetables are simmered. The celery is not completely soft because I want a little bit of a crunch to that. Add the rest of the ingredients except for the okra and the alligator. So we need one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one big can of stewed tomatoes, and I'm using two regular size cans. and the eighth cup of parsley chopped. Give that a mix. We'll simmer this for 10 minutes. We'll make sure it's covered. So after 10 minutes, if you have fresh okra, now's the time to add it. I had the frozen, I'm not gonna add mine yet. It also says to pour a little bit of the okra water in there. I didn't really have enough of anything to put in there, but I'll put what I have. And then it says you're supposed to cook it for another 10 minutes, but being as I don't have the okra in there, I'm just gonna let it cook for two minutes with the water. It's been two minutes there. We'll add our alligator meat. Turn the heat down to low, and we'll let this cook for about an hour until the alligator is tender. If your gravy gets too thick, you can add some hot water to it. 
All right, so we got about 10 minutes left. We'll add the okra. We just don't want it to get too mushy. And stir that in. And continue cooking for 10 minutes. So here's the alligator gumbo over rice. And rounding out the meal is cornbread. Let's see what Dave thinks. I'm wearing my pop of Smurf outfit today. Should I ask what this is? Alligator gumbo. Okay. Watch out, it's hot. That's very good. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.